Here's our problem. Okay. Okay. Read the terms for me. Uh, let's start with x and mm, negative 3. You put on the middle. Okay. Minus negative 4. Okay. Let's set up the equation. Let's double check, make sure we have everything. What's supposed to be in here? Check over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do this. What goes in this side? What is that? X. Okay, so we have X and negative 3, and that's equal to negative 4. All right? All right, we're all set up. Here we go. How many zero pairs do you need? Go ahead and do it. Good. Now, how do we keep this balanced, the equation? Perfect. Simplify this side. Find me. Take them away. Good job. How do you simplify this side? So what's x supposed to be equal to? Negative 1. Okay, so x, x is supposed to be equal to a negative 1. Let's check. Is x equal to negative 1? What is that? Negative 1. You got it, buddy. Nice job. All right, let's reset. What? What? What'd they do there? Which one is that? Okay, let's do it. Stick with what you know. Let's read it. Let's what are the terms? X plus three. Zero? Okay, let's do it. This side was none. Okay. All right. So, what's the opposite of positive three? Negative three. Okay, and how do we keep our equation equal? What'd you put here? Mm, I get this three. Mm -hmm. So what goes over here? Good job, negative three on both sides. Okay, what happens here when we simplify? What happens here when we simplify? What's x? Negative Hold on, wait. Three. What's x equal to? X negative three. Let's see. What's in there? Negative three. Got it, buddy. Nice job. How about this? Okay. Ready? Here we go. Read it, set it up, do it, tell me what the answer is. Okay? Remember to talk loud. So with the x and positive 8 equals to positive 2. Okay. Okay, so you got it set up. Now what are we going to do? In here.
What are you putting in now? Can I do this? Eight. Okay. Same thing. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, how are we going to simplify? X is supposed to equal negative 6. Check it out. What's in there? Negative 6. You got it, buddy. You ready? Double dolphins. High five. Here we go. All right. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. All right. So here's my story, Ian. The the X, by the way, that represents an unknown amount. Okay, that's like something that's in your pocket, but you don't know what it is. Cool. cool. Just like when we have the containers, mm -hmm. Ian. Look up here. Just like when we have the containers, there's a number in there. We just don't know what it is yet. Okay. Right. That's the variable. So. Here's the story. Are you ready? All right. You're walking along, headed to Wendy's. You got some money. Then you find $3 laying on the ground. When you get to Wendy's, you count up all your money, and you realize that you now have $8. Which equation shows me that you had some money, you found $3, and now you have $8? Take a look up there. Do you think it's this one, or do you think it's that one? Hmm. Walking along the Wendy's, you found money, so you put it with your other money. This one? Why do you think it's that one? Oh, no, no, wait a minute. You're right. Don't switch on me, okay? You're right. What I want to know is, why do you think it's that one? What, what part of the story made you think to pick that one? Um, this one had a three, this one had an eight. Okay, so because you found $3 and then you knew you had $8, you picked the one with the three and the eight. Cool. All right, here we go. How are you going to model solving this one? There's the X. <laughs> and what goes with the X? How many are you going to put down over here? Eight. Okay. Eight. All right. Now, how many zero pairs do we need? What did you put in there? Negative three. Okay. What goes over here then? Negative three. Okay. Right. 
So what is it? Positive five. Positive five. Okay, so let's come back to our story, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, the story said you were walking along and you had some money. And then you found how much money? Um, positive five. You found how much? Three. Three, yep. We had some money. We found three dollars, so we put it with the money we already had. And when we got to Wendy's, we realized we had eight dollars. So how much money did we start with? Positive five. We must have started with positive five. Because if I start with five and I find three dollars, so I put three dollars with my five dollars, what's five plus three? Seven. Close. Um, you do five, six, six seven, eight. Eight. Yep. Because 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. And that's what we already knew, right? We already knew it was equal to 8. <gasps> hey, let's just make sure, though. You think x is equal to 5, and we just showed that up here. But is x5 in here? Is x equal to 5 in there? What's in there? Positive 5. You got it. Positive 5. Nice job. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to do this problem. X plus 2 equals 6. Okay? Mm. Show me how to do it. What's that? X. Okay. Plus a 2. And power 6. Uh, oh, there it is. Go ahead. What are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? <laughs> what are you doing down here? Mm hmm. What's that? A two. Negative two. Okay. So now what? Same thing here. What's x equal to? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. you got it, buddy. Check that out. What's in there? Positive four. Positive four. All right, let's reset.